while I'm waiting for this movie to render, I will show you some of the stuff that we dug up this morning. This is a nice little inkwell. Unfortunately, it's chipped. It says S&M &S Company on the bottom, and I need to clean it up a little better. But it's got a little blue cast to it, so I wanted to keep it even though it's chipped. Um, this bottle here, obviously broken. But I brought it home anyhow because it says Larkin Soap Company, Buffalo. And uh, that's the first time I've run across a small green bottle like this. Uh, that was embossed, so that would have been a really nice find if it wasn't wouldn't have been broken. This, of course, obviously broken, but it's in the shape of a suitcase. See the little lock there? Suitcase probably would have had a little handle here, so I'm not sure. Probably a candy dish, candy dish cover, butter dish cover. I, it's really hard to say without uh, seeing the rest of it, but I just uh, wanted to bring that home and show you that neat little find. Um, this is a kind of an oddball thing. When I first dug it up, it was kind of poking out like that, and I thought, oh, it's a stopper. So I grabbed it and pulled it out, and it's uh, got wire in it. Obviously broken here, so it probably would have had same it would have looked the same on both sides and it's dark blue um, some kind of porcelain or pottery I do not have any idea this end is smooth I have no idea what that would have been so if you have any ideas yeah let me know it was uh, just a little interesting thing to run across here's another oddball find. It is uh, just a light piece of metal. Would have went over something because it's got little clips. See the little clip there? But it's another one that I don't have a clue what it would have what it was. Um, here's a nice little bottle that my husband found. See all the bubbles in it? Nice little glass. I don't think there's... Well, it's probably got Owens, Illinois mark on it. That's very common here. This is a nice little bottle that I found. And another Owens, Illinois. And I'll have to look, look those up because um, that one's got the diamond eye. For Illinois glass and that one I can't tell I have to look because I can date those from the seals on the bottom and this is a nice um, little jar it just has a number six on the bottom of it and we do have uh, some more but they're uh, soaking waiting to be clean Okay, this is an eye within a diamond, and it says that it is um, eye within a diamond, Illinois Glass Company, Alton, Illinois, 1873 to 1929. So that fits very well the uh, age of the stump. Okay, this bottle just has a diamond with three numbers in it. So I looked that up, and it says diamond with a two, three, or four digit number. Uh, Illinois Glass Company, Alton, Illinois, 1873 to 1929. And it says exact period when this mark was used is uncertain, but probably sometime within 1910 to 1920s period. So that exactly fits with uh, part of the stuff. Okay, this Larkin Soap Company Buffalo bottle, the little green bottle. This is why I bring this stuff home. Here's one on Etsy and it says, it's vintage from the 1800s, but it does go on to say it's around 1890. So, um, circa 1890, Larkin Salts, Larkin Soap Company, Buffalo, New York, cork top, emerald green blown glass perfume. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, that, man, if I could find one of those intact, 
that's uh, really great. Um, they got $20 on it, which I don't think is too bad for that bottle. Actually, I think it's uh, not too bad at all. Okay, people, once again, the little glass suitcase thing. Uh, this is why I brought it home, even though it's broken. Here it is. It was a candy dish. And it says antique candy jar shaped like a glass suitcase. Okay, um, let's go to that page and see if I can find it. Here it is. Okay. Um, there it is. Antique candy jar shaped like glass suitcase collectible containers. Um, let's see, made by West Brothers, 1900s, bale handle. Uh, slide tin closure it would have had the tin bottom. That's much like the little chicken that I found in the little car that I found. So it's just uh, sad that these are broken, but that shows you what it was. And that was, uh, she's got $38 on it. Um, if it's whole, it looks like it's complete. So I really don't think that's too bad of a price on it either. Now, when I, I collect these things, Things I don't collect them to Here sell. Here are the rest of our finds from today. And you can see this is an amber bottle that looks like a beer bottle. It has no markings other than it has an F20AD. But see this seam mark? It goes all the way around it. I mean, it's not a crack, it's not a scratch, it's a seam. And I've never seen a bottle with a seam like that. So if any of you bottle people can help me out on this, there's absolutely nothing on the bottom. Um, the side seam does go all the way to the lip. So that helps date it. But I have never seen a bottle with a seam right here. So if you guys can help me out on that, I appreciate uh, a little help on that one. This here is a broken one, but we went ahead and brought it home. It's Haze. And it says Hair Health on it. Tell it's a nice old bottle. Unfortunately, it's got that one little corner chipped out. It does have something on the bottom, bottom there, but I'll have to uh, see what that says. It just looks like a 1-1 one, one or something there. Nothing on the sides. Nice thick old top. Look at that top. I like that. So, um... That's one. I just brought this home because it had uh, had some writing on it. It just says herons or parents or something. And then it had writing across the top, but I can't tell what it is. So I'm just going to pitch that piece. And my cat's helping me out here. I actually found another one of these quick uh, stick bottles. And uh, that makes three I have now, and that's kind of odd. And a decent, um, I guess, olive jar. Has a one in a triangle. I will have to look that one up. It's a nice looking jar. Okay, I got a better look at that marking and it is actually a T in an inverted triangle. So I looked that up. Um, T in an inverted triangle. Turner Brothers Glass Company, Terry Hot, Indiana, 1905 to 1930. So that still pretty much fits with the uh, age of this dump. Okay, I just looked up this Hayes Hair Health and I know this is an older bottle just by the the heaviness of the bottle and the top of it and uh, just the whole bottle is really heavy so I did look it up and here it says uh, this
company. Uh, it says sometime in 1887, the company would start selling Hayes Hair Health. So everything that I'm finding on this bottle says it's um, late 1800s. So that's great. I mean, if it's around 1890, that's what I'm seeing on most of these, 1880 to 1890. Well, it would have to be past 1880 because they didn't start selling it until 1887. But um, this is a really um, pretty old bottle. So that is really what I was looking for. Um, these 1800s bottles, even though it's got uh, a chip in it, and it's got a corner chipped out, I'm still going to keep that for sure, because that's an oldie.